Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Wazoo88. Today I'm doing a very fun tutorial that I've never really done before and it's inspired by the Japanese gyaru, gar, gyaru, gyaru, <laughs> gyaru look and the main focus is of course on the eyes and as you can see I'm wearing contact lenses and they're gray. So they're great contact lenses from the Mimi series that I'll tell you more about during the tutorial. And I'll also be showing you a very fun hairdo, which I call the octopus hair. And other people call it octopus hair as well. It's where the ends flip out. So it's a really cute hairdo um, that complements the eyes very well. Um, the eyes, like I said, it's very animated, um, cartoon feel. And I just had so much fun doing it. And it was my first time, so um, you actually do end up looking like a cartoon character. So I thought it was really cool. Um, before we get started, I'd like to let you all know that some of my videos have been privatized because of technical issues. Um, I re-uploaded one of them, which was the Korean art jungle look yesterday, and some of you have um, been wondering what was going on. So my question to you is if you want them re-uploaded again, I would be so happy to do so. Or if you want me to remake the same ones using this camera because now I have a better quality camera than before, I could do that as well. So let me know. I could remake the Art Jung in 5 minutes, the, um, the Lush uh, toner tabs if you want. So if you want me to re-upload some of them um, just the way it was or if you want me to remake them, do let me know and I will do that for you. So yeah, so thank you guys for watching and we'll get started. So today I'm using my Leo Ellie Dollish Vita BB Cream in gorgeous purple as it is a dollish looking uh, tutorial. I'm using my Sephora airbrush brush. For eyebrows, I'm using my Etude House Easy Brow Pencil in brown. And the brown really lightens up our face. We don't want our brows to be in focus, we want our eyes to be in focus. For powder, I'm using my Etude House BB Compact in light beige. And that is it for our base makeup. For eyes, I'm using my Stila Rouge Pot called Amaryllis. It's a nice pinkish, uh, orangey shadow. That's usually used for blush, but I'm using it for our eyeshadow. I'm applying this from mid to outer lid, concentrating right below the brow bone. I'm doing it in a swiping motion, then taking a Skin Food a light shimmery peach color, I'm applying this all over my inner corners as well as right below my eyebrows on my brow bone. Taking my MAC palette, I'm using a really vibrant pink called Sushi Flower. I am blending it into my Stila Peach Amaryllis from the ends, blending it into the middle. I'm doing a swiping motion as well and a circular motion, blending it all out. Next, I'm using my Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner in black and using a bent Sonia Kashuk brush you can find at Target. I'm lining my uh, upper lash line and I'm winging it slightly at the end as I do so, bringing it down. I'm also lining the inner corners as well continuing from the inner corners to my bottom lash line. I'm tight lining my bottom lash line, as you can see here, but I'm only going to the mid way, not all the way. Just mid lash line. Next, using my eyelash curler, I am gently curling my lashes and using my Hypnose Drama Lancome Mascara. I'm combing my lashes. And I'm applying some False lashes only at the ends to make it a little more dramatic. And using my Lancome palette, I'm mixing the white and the light gray shimmers together. I found that mixing a white and a gray shimmer together gives it a more pearly effect. And I'm applying this right underneath my lash line, my lower lash line. Then taking a darker gray, I am making it a little smoky at the end, right below the pearly white and blending it out as naturally as possible. You can take a cleaning wipe and clean away the messy edges if you like. And for a final touch, I'm taking MAC All That Glitters and putting it right below everything, as well as the brow bone. Just making it a little bit more peachy. 
Then I am putting mascara on my lower lashes as a final touch for my eyes. And now I'm putting on some gray contacts from PinkyParadise.com. It's called Princess Mimi Sesame Gray. And for cheeks, I'm applying a very baby pink uh, blusher. And for lips, I'm using Etude House Baby Pink uh, Lipstick. Now for the hair, I'm using my Revlon straightener like always. And I am bending my bangs to the side. A little winging effect to do the helmet hair. And for the octopus hair, I am just taking the ends and curling it outwards like so. And I'm going to be doing this all around my head. Just the ends. So curling and curling away. You can also put on a cute hairband like I'm doing now or put on a pink frilly blouse to complement the entire look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you try it out for yourselves. And in this picture you can see I'm wearing a knitted hairband that I will be sharing with you soon. Talk to you later guys and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye bye!